Hey guys, this is Kent. Today we are playing FM22 and I'm Port Vale manager in the Premier League. We've got a big game at home against West Brom. We are ninth on 46 points, so we are five points behind City in seventh with a game in hand. So this is pretty much our game in hand. We could put ourselves onto 49, put a bit of pressure on and uh, hope for the best. All right, I think I am going to go slight change to the lineup. Injuries have dictated the rest of my choices. Judge the fight in the ball. We can't get you can't get a Chelsea away and win like we did in the last game and then get done by West Brom at home. What is wrong with this team? So bizarre. Oh, off the wood. Man. This is an epic throw. Oh! Okay, we're back in. Just keep it moving. I'm always going for this mad ball. <gasps> really, really good chance. Okay, we can't afford any slip ups. So I'm afraid he's going to have to come off on the yellow. Just can't risk it. I should want to bring Lingard on. It's harsh. Oh my god, he was totally bullied off the ball then. Oh! What a pass out offside. It's an absolute screamer from outside the box. They've got like the highest line ever. game you can't take your eyes off this one you need another chance they are pushing on there. whoa you bastards you bastards What are we doing? Passing back to the keeper. What's going on? What are you trying to chip him from there? You're too close in. Just curl it in the far corner. We have to make a sub. I'm going to say we're going to go attacking. We need to get after this. Romero is just not playing well. 
Vinovich. I'm thinking about Sessignon. I'm also thinking Arthur's not doing that well. Bring on Ericsson for Arthur. Massive risk. The whole season, this is. Stick it in the net. <sighs> 20 shots of that now. Come on, please. What was that? Getting a hope effort. Oh, go on. Go on then. I feel this is like about three games in one now. Keep it moving. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. Yeah. End it. Just end. Yes. That was a management masterclass right there, guys. I'm telling you. Ran the clock down. Epic 3-2. Unbelievable points. <sighs> Need those three points so badly. The subs played well. Happy days. All that to still be ninth. We've got a five point cushion for 10th now, so it'd be our first ever top 10 finish if we can pull it off. But still five to play, and we are two points off City. But, I mean, for us to finish above Leicester or City would be absolutely unbelievable. These players I've lined up don't look that great. <laughs> but what can you do? Let's have a quick look that there isn't someone contract expiring that's like mental good. something a little bit off with this one like bravery of two puts me off let's search on reputation Pff, messy what messy 37 year old messy and how much does he want What? 
I thought he would say no chance. Shall we take Messi for a year at Port Vale? We have to, don't we? We have to. What? A lot of money though. You have 90 grand a week. Hey, took it. 92,000. What is going on? I suppose he is 37, but what is going on? These are players that have never, there's players here that would never, ever have considered signing for me now. But I suppose I'm top 10 in the Premier League his third season. But what the hell? Messi would never come to Port Vale in the Premier League. He would be off lying, lying in his pockets in America or the Far East or whatever. You know it. My mind is blown now. That's completely put me off because I thought that would never happen. How is that happening? Why has no one else offered him a contract? He's obviously been out of contract for like three months. <laughs> Messi is delighted to agree terms. He's looking forward to joining Port Vale and hopes to have a bright future at the club. July the 1st. Messi. I mean, he's got no stamina or pace or strength or anything or a terrible work rate, but he's still Messi. Oh, the worst thing about this is he's actually going to be 38 by then. But I don't care. It'll be funny just to have him at the club. Messi will... I oh, bet he will attempt to start learning English before arriving. Hello, everybody, peeps. Hello. I'm really happy to be at Port Vale. It's always been my dream to play for the Vale. <laughs> uh, sorry about my awful impression to all my Spanish friends out there or South American. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> I hope you guys are laughing along with me. Okay, these these kids showing promise. No, you're not showing promise and I'm not. Don't offer contract. Don't offer contract. No. You're terrible. Okay. No more fun and games. We've got Man United. Who are top? Let's have a little deeper dive into this. They've only lost three all season. And they... Oh, God. Let's not even worry about it. Um, both my center halves are injured. These are my starting center halves, by the way. Well, Diallo actually has done well since I bought him, but he's terrible. we go with this Arthur's on loan I mean this is like he's a teenager these two aren't very good he's decent Arthur's on loan he's another teenager we are it's a miracle we're doing as well as we are you've only selected seven from a possible nine I've got no other fit players at the club would you believe not even in the reserves alright 
pray for a miracle. Or just have a pile in the score within two minutes against this one. Right? This is another highlight. Unless it's for me this time. for the veil. It's hard to know, isn't it? Like, my formation is attacking and pressing. But I lost to Arsenal. I was brave and went for the same attacking formation and won 3 2 away at Chelsea. So it's like, I feel like if I did go defensive, they would still pick me off anyway. But maybe I would only lose 2 0, I don't know. 3 1, I'm not sure. But It's my nature to attack. Liven up a bit. Oh no, he's going to look at the monitor. This is the day we just get from that, and I don't think I can take any more.
So it's 6-2 at half time. What am I meant to do with that information? Let's go attacking second half. <laughs> we need four. Come on. That was unlucky. Hit the post at 6 4. You thinking, hang on a minute. Bring on Rodrigo or Lingard. I'm going to bring on Lingard. Oh, I tell you what, we've hit both post and bar. Could have been flipping 6-5. I'm proud of the boys for what they've done after being 4-0. We have truly had chances to get it back. It's ridiculous. They're going to get one now, aren't they? Hold on, Luca. Oh. Such a shame we started so badly. We've actually given him a bit of a game a second half. I'm not going out 6-4, I don't think that's it. Six, 4 That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god! How mad was that? Was that the maddest game ever? I've just lost 6-4. And Romero's got man of the match with a 9.4. A goal and an assist. That is so weird. How can I lose 6-4 and my keeper get a 7.3? They had 30 shots, 7 on target. 
their expected goals of 4.4. We had 20 shots and 2.3. That is a mad game. Both, sorry, post and bar were hit as well. That would have been mental. We'd have come back. <laughs> if we could have just got that one to go five. A 10 goal thriller. Right, I'm glad I didn't skip it because I was going to skip it. I was like thinking at 5 1, oh, we've had it. 5 1. No one saw us come, come and get another three. But the bottom line is, nevertheless, we are still ninth and we are four points off with four to go. It's not happening, is it? The next game is Liverpool. The next game is Liverpool. All right, guys, let's have a little look at the run-in. What's to come? Four to play. So we've got Liverpool and then Brentford away and then Brighton and West Ham. We need a miracle because we're going to be further behind after this next game. All right, join me tomorrow, guys. Let's see if the Vale can get a miracle, beat Liverpool, and somehow get in the European places. We can but pray. Thanks for watching.